Hello and welcome back to Fantasy Star Online Episode 3, where today we are going to be taking KC and looking inward. So let's see what's up here. A member of the Hunters wants us to er, I'm sorry. A member of the Hunters wants to meet with us at Nebula, Montana to offer some information. We personally cannot fulfill his request, therefore we need you to go meet that hunter. Ah yes, good old fashioned in formation. I remember having trouble with this quest the first time I did it. I don't remember why, but I remember having trouble with it. Like way back when. Realize, do I, that the training, or sorry, realize, do I, that training of mine is not yet complete. I do warrant that I shall train further, returning to the fundamentals. A suitably weak target has presented himself at our doorstep, offering to sell information, or so from words I hear. Would thou be willing to allow me to go and engage him? Sure, Casey. Sure. So if memory serves, there are traps on this map. And the enemy puts fly on us and uses a lot of aerial slayer stuff. I could be entirely wrong, but I remember these things happening. good number please well that's a good number so I guess I got what I asked for Well, this is definitely the more important one. If he uses any defense cards, I don't kill either one, so yeah. Okay. If I had gone for the other one, I would have made it so that I at least needed more than a dodge to survive any further attacks. I'll probably regret this, but I'm getting rid of one of our guards. So if I roll a five, I don't have to finish that sentence. So he moved too far for our slime to actually do anything. But if we move here, it should at least entice him to not go through the warp. What I would have done was summon the Merlin next to the warp and then send it through to block that off. And now he's got enough things equipped that I really wish I could have brought into. As rude attacking my slime like that. When I don't have any defense points to help it. So this should make him probably try and break for the warp again. 
but we should probably be fine. And then you'll get rid of this wand, because plus three TP is not something I want having around. Or rather, not something I want to have around. Reduce that at least a little. Keeps the slime alive. That's all we need. Okay, so we're gonna move the slime here. I should know, that's a bad idea. There's no good ideas here. But we'll do this. Action. So, KC tests for defense. Slime kills that. Merlin kills that if somehow he defends twice. On. Okay, I guess he's just gonna be naked. That's fine. Wasn't paying attention to what his defense point total was. It's pretty easy to play around a one. Uh, what I really want to happen is for my slime to survive until I get another one. So hopefully he'll just like equip nothing and try and kick the slime. Maybe he'll try and attack the Merlin. Nope, there goes our slime. That's a shame. Much rather have the Merlin die early. Though here, Casey's fixed range can come into play. So he's got two AP by himself. But if we split boost, then we can probably get rid of the wand and then we can kill the other wand with our Merlin and get Glue Star naked again. Okay, so we need to roll a six to kill the wand. That ain't doing it. This one's dead, though. Unfortunately, this Merlin isn't nearly as effective as it could be if he was naked. But hey, there's another Merlin. Having two of them is far from bad. Oh, you sure do have only things that cost two. Uh, uh, Merlin, protect me. And what's the Mace of Adamant? Oh. Okay. Including itself, so he has two TP on this Mace. Let's see if we can make it be zero. We can. Don't think I want to use that dice plus one at this point. He keeps setting really cheap things. Defense. Oh, you've got Gibarta, have you? That's annoying. 
Bye, Merlin. And almost by other Merlin. So he's probably not going to be doing many melee attacks if he can avoid it. And yeah, using the dice plus one would only help him. So we're going to come out of hiding here. a slightly better chance of scoring a kill on something. I think he's used up all of his walls, but if he hasn't, that king's dead anyway. Like, he needs to use better than a wall to make the king survive. Or rather, a wall would have done it. Why did I think KC had 2 AP? Or no, he does have 2 AP. Why did I think Heavy Blow added 2? the dice plus one. Well, we've got a dodge, so at least we're not going to be taking straight up eight damage from a tech. I hope. Ooh, he didn't set anything else. He is using a tech, though. Goodbye, Merlin. Maybe that's why I had so much trouble on this quest. He's using nothing but techs. Very hard to defend against. And here we are with just a Govolmer. Okay, so... He's only got one point of defense. So this will guaranteed get rid of his thing. And then we can get an AP silence on him. Because why not? Another dice bonus is nice, but we need to actually have things to spend those dice on. There's a slime again. Would have been nice to get that earlier. Oh, he is running. He's got nothing. He didn't even get out of Casey's range. So we win here, probably. Yeah, we win. Well, we win if he doesn't have a dodge card. Defense. And he doesn't. So we're good. Good job, camera. Oof. I know we had a lot of things killed, but an E? Come on. Wasn't even a good card pack, like at all. Getting a second Yasminkov is all right. Gives you a higher chance of pulling it if you put them both in one deck. I don't think I would put three in one deck. Like I might, but I don't think I would. Glue Star was the name of his. Of little value did his information seemed. Uh, y you uh. You mixed your tenses there. But yet, his words do hold truths with what we gathered from Enolis, our new member. Oh, she's our member now, is she? Thus, we may now feel sure of the location of the Pioneer 2 mother computer. 
Also assured have I of my need for continued training. Without further ado, I humbly express my thanks to thee. Shouldn't it be assured am I? Like, I get what the people who wrote KC were going for, but... They... Must have assumed people wouldn't be reading his text too closely, because... It's got a lot more grammatical errors than most of the rest of the game, even if you ignore his weird manner of speech. Also, my best guess, I haven't played the Japanese version of this game, but I assume he probably spoke uh, with an old-timey Japanese, uh, I guess, dialect. Probably samurai style with all of the usual samurai isms, degozaru, and all that. That's my guess. So they probably chose to translate it like this, which is kind of like very pseudo Shakespearean. Would have been really cool if they actually managed to nail the Shakespearean stuff, but they did not. I need you to head out immediately and launch an attack on Pioneer 2's transport system. Uh, um, okay. It's a little sudden and short. Not even gonna say why or anything. Uh-oh, what are the rules? No shuffle. That's... Oh, and all sixes. Ooh, this quest is gonna get scary, isn't it? Well... This deck does have an unshuffled setup, so. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully it doesn't end up being another episode in a row where we end with a loss. Or have a loss in it. didn't roll a six here. All right, let's see what she's up to. It's unshuffled and she's rolling as high as she wants, so let's see what her goal is. Oh, it's to use one really big thing. It's not a super scary big thing either. This will be fine. So we get to bring out our two best friends. One of them can even attack this round. Or we could wait for her to get a little closer. How far can she move? Two? Two. So she moves forward to, she can hit this square with a foey. And if we're back here, then we can still nail her if she moves forward, too. So we'll put this slime here. We'll wait for her. And then this slime, if she moves forward, to, would have to move here to hit her. That's where the other slime has to move. So this slime actually has to go forward just a little bit further, which means that she could foe eat it. So there's no way for us to receive her with both slimes. Unless... No, it would need to move three. Yeah, there's no way with only a move of two that we can get her with both, because the square two above this one is not playable. So I guess we just put a slime where she can foey it and hope that it can survive. And if we're doing that, we might as well move a er, wait. Because if she's got Gizonde, then if I put this slime here, she can hit it. We don't want that. So we'll just let her move forward a bit. We'll move Endu. All right, Viviana, let's see what you got other than the Caduceus. Okay, 
Okay, Stormwand Indra. Oh. You don't want to go meet my slimes, huh? Okay. We don't need this, but I kind of want it. So we're going to shuffle around a little bit here. Because this way we are actually... Oh, they aren't completely safe from a Gizonde, but Endu is. And TP power, Dark Slayer. Okay, neither of the... Well, TP power matters a little bit. Actually, it matters quite a lot of it. She can slap pretty hard with that thing. And this is random TP. Ooh, it's going to be getting a six every time. That's very scary. And Kane, half guard, machine, half guard. Neither of those matters. But random TP. That's something. Yeah, Endu is safe so long as she doesn't have grants. Well, I guess she could. She could foey him. Yeah. Whatever. Gibarda. Oh, and she's going to get the freeze, isn't she? Because we're rolling sixes. Or does that not count for this? I don't think it counts for this. Well, it counted ish. Nah. This wasn't it counting. This was probably my fault for having used the dice plus one. Though not necessarily, because again, dice plus one doesn't really just do a plus one for those types of rolls. And we're just going to split boost here in hopes that we can get rid of the real scary thing. Okay, we're going to need to roll high to get through it, but we rolled high. Goodbye, Storm Wand. And almost goodbye, Caduceus. Shame our slimes are both frozen. Now Endu's out here in the open. Okay, Ice Staff. It can freeze, which is annoying, but... Defense. We should be fine. You're not killing my slime that easy. So actually, I should have let you. Because then I could have summoned a new one for free. Does she not have text in her hand? She really should have used one right there. Do I have action cards? I've got Slash. Just trying to take her attention a little bit away from the slimes, make sure she can't hit both of us at once. There goes the Caduceus. Hopefully she doesn't have another scary five cost thing. I'll keep the pan arms in my hand because we don't have any other slimes. Like as soon as she kills one, we drop down another one and then that's it for slimes. Oh, I guess she can he's on there. Or Gifoe, rather. Um, we'll protect this slime. All right, so that's one slime down. But we can summon another one for free. Even if it wasn't for free, we could summon it in. We've got the roll for it. And she doesn't have anything else. Like, she's only got her ice staff, and that thing is weakened, is it not? No, it is not. Okay, so defense check. Hopefully kill the ice staff if she doesn't have two defense cards, and then direct damage. Okay. That's why we do a defense check. All right, it is dead.
and then direct damage. Keeping that fan arms. Wow, oh, you've just got every element, huh? Dang it, another storm wand. She's just doing physical attacks, though, so we are fine. Uh, she's not going to do many physical attacks, so we might as well. Gets more cards into our hand, keeps that slime healthy-ish. And... Nah, Endu can take the hit. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. She's got very low health on both of those things. So if she doesn't have defense cards, they're both dead. Otherwise... Uh, they're probably still both dead just a little later. So yeah, we're not going to get to do eight direct damage. But she's only got one HP. So next thing we break, we win. Pretty much means we just need to survive one more round. Uh, we'll keep the pan arms in case she kills a slime. Oh, we had another pan arms coming. Whoops. It's probably still going to die. But maybe not. Yeah, it's dead. Only just barely, though. And we've got to do six damage to that Ice Staff to win the game. Easy. Defense check. Another defense check slash trying to get two damage on and then trying to get the last four. Defense. If she doesn't have any more defense cards, we win right here. Hopefully we win right here. Yep, we do. Good. That quest was not nearly as scary as I expected it to be. If she was as loaded with techs as Gluestar was, this quest would have been terrifying. But she wasn't. So, it wasn't really a big deal. She did have a bunch, but she wasn't using them in place of regular attacks all the time. remember what dual strike is. Another native attack. So what are you? Oh. Okay, so basically, yeah, if you attack with a weapon or a creature that has the same AP as the target, then both of them die. Or no, not both of them, just the other one. So you just auto-kill something if you both have the same AP. I mean, it's definitely got its uses. Attacking something that's got... Or, or, if you're using something that has AP 4 as arcs, then Dual Strike is gonna basically get rid of most of the most dangerous 
arcs cards. So that's something. But that's for arcs on arcs matches. For arcs on hunters or hunters on arcs, it's probably a little harder to use that card. You truly are the pride of the arcs. Excellent work. I'll press the attack and we'll continue onward. All right, we were trying to get onto Pioneer 2 and that's why we had to attack the thing, right? Right? Yeah, right, that was it. Oh boy, now we get to see the morgue infiltration from the other side. And by now I mean in the next episode, but we're still gonna talk to people first. I thought Lupus Silva was the main route to Pioneer 2, and now you're telling me to get on via the Tower of Calum? What? Oh, do I have to use Break for this quest? No, I, I can use others. Good. Maybe it's that I can't use Break for this quest. Well, let's talk to people. Hi, Lura. Oh. Okay, what is it? Oh. Uh, nope. It is. Maybe. Oh. Yeah, it is. Yeah, they do look very similar. It's almost as though they're recolors of one another. Okay. Hello, Ogun. Is she? come back out. Uh, or that, I guess. Ah, like a glorious father, huh? Ogun did it first. can't use Endu or Raze. Oh, that's terrible. They're the two best ones. Okay. We might use Memoru. Oh. All right. I probably will, since I can't use Endu or Raze.
Well, you only have one dialogue line, huh? Uh, you bribed Enolis and got her to give information, and you bought information from Gluestar. I plan to. Uh, reasons. It's because he wants to achieve, quote, the goal we must achieve, end quote. Okay. He is. You don't have anything else, right? Yeah. You don't have a quest for me, do you? Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh. Okay, so she's not scolding us because we did something wrong. That's just part of her dialogue. Okay. I was concerned for a moment. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Join us next time when we're going to raid the morgue. See you then, friends.